I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous going into this. Going from a reset button to a concrete wall is, is scary. It's a scary thought. So I, I feel that I'm ready uh, to transition from the simulation stuff to the real stuff. My name is Michael Conti. I'm 17 years old. I live in Woodland Park, New Jersey. Currently a senior at uh, Passaic Valley High School and I have aspirations of becoming a professional race car driver. I racing is the premier motorsport simulation at this point. The game is a simulation, but the racing within the game is real. There's nothing fake about it. Everything from the surroundings to the bumps in the track are, are remodeled to perfection. Our teams are all structured you know, from the bottom up with maybe test drivers, main drivers, engineers, crew chiefs, spotters. The team that I'm on a couple years ago was run by Dale Earnhardt Jr. It was a junior motorsports sector in iRacing. So it's not just a bunch of people in a league anymore. Now we're actually racing for a NASCAR sanctioned championship, a spot on the stage at Homestead, Miami in November, and a lot of money too. You know, I don't drive on the street a lot, which I tell all my friends it's pretty ironic since I'm trying to be a race car driver. I don't have a street car or, or drive for that matter. We don't have a lot of money. We live on the third floor in a small apartment. I don't want to pay $192 a month for insurance. I work at a grocery store making minimum wage, so. Yeah, my driving outside of iRacing is very limited. I drove a street car, a Chevy Impala, a Saturn View, and that's, that's about it. I've never been over 85 miles an hour. I feel like I've done all this, all this has been conditioning. Dell Jr. talked about it, about how if you took a, a kid at three or four or five, you know, when they could finally get an appreciation for cars and stick them on a simulation, train them for five, six, seven, eight years, purely on the simulation, and then put them in a real car, they could be a champion. And I've gotten the most out of this now, you know, being the champion, uh, performing extremely well in here. Of course, it's time to take the next step. West than uh, Tennessee, and that's not West at all. So, uh, coming out to Vegas, uh, I'm excited. Uh, I'm really excited. All of those years doing the simulations, more or less training on them to prepare for something like this. And the great thing is, you know, on iRacing, they have Las Vegas Motor Speedway, they have the Cup car, so it's a direct translation from the sim to here. The truth of the matter in the Indy NASCAR track is you do have to hold the wheel slightly to the right because the whole track is banked. The Richard Petty driving experience with the classroom instruction, what they were saying about, you know, the line to take and staying within the gates, it all sounded very familiar. So, um, you know, I felt like I was ready. Uh, once I stepped out in the track, I was like, all right, time to go, I got this. Here we go, clutch down, a little bit of gas. I knew I was going to probably stall it, and I, I almost did. I think our instructor kind of bailed me out of that, which was good. But um, going down pit road, coasting through one and two on the apron, and you know, the instructor telling me to get up on the track, I was like, all right, it's time to do this, and just put my foot down and saying, all right, it's all or nothing now. It came to me a lot quicker than I thought it would. It's like that sim racer inside of me came out and said, all right, let's play at Las Vegas today. It's crazy how much your head is thrown to the right. It's pushing against you, obviously, as you're going to the left. And just like the sense of speed, that you kind of compensate for. And within the eight laps, by the second or third laps, it was just like, OK, it's another thing I got used to. And boom, you know, we're fine. You can translate a lot from the sim into real racing. They don't give you the G-forces, they don't give you the seat, the pants feeling, but they give you that confidence to know what the car should do. So at this point, I'm ready, I'm ready for this. Hopefully we can get sponsorship and, and, and funding in the right places and, and do this right over the next couple of years and be able to position myself to get into one of the NASCAR, maybe a K&N series or something down the road, obviously. I'd love to be in NASCAR. I mean, that's what I've always wanted to do since I was in a, a booster seat uh, with my little toy cars watching NASCAR race on a Sunday with my mom and dad. Uh, and today I came out here uh, nervous, but once I got in that car, it felt like I had been doing it for years. And um, that's really given me the confidence to pursue this now and, and make this dream a reality.